Hello guys, Jonathan here again with yet another firearm from the collection here at the Royal Armouries. Let me give you the best view I can of this because we only have the one angle on our online collection at the moment because this was photographed for a book a while ago. It's a very sci-fi looking submachine gun. It is in 9mm Parabellum, has its own design of magazine, which is always a design challenge for people designing things like this. And it seems to have been successful in this case. Some very unusual plastic furniture, sculpted grips on there, and this very odd thumb hole front grip. Not that odd though, because it's uh, reminiscent of and probably based upon the one on the AKS 74U. The, uh, very short Kalashnikov, which is fundamentally a submachine gun itself, although it fires a small rifle cartridge. Most submachine guns operate on a, well, certainly of this, of the Cold War era, operate from an open bolt, like the Sten, for example, fires, blows back to that position. This one operates from the closed bolt, and that's most likely because it's based partly on the Intratech Tech 9, an American. Uh, submachine gun slash pistol design. Um, otherwise, it's quite different. It's just the, the uh, innards that are Tech 9 inspired. Different magazine, different receiver. Now, you might not be able to tell um, unless you look closely, but this is actually not quite a craft produced or improvised firearm, but it is the work of a small factory, a workshop. So it's, it's extremely well finished for what it is, but it, it lacks the finesse of a mass-produced, a truly mass-produced firearm. And that's because this originates from uh, the breakup of the former Yugoslavia and uh, the secession of Croatia from Serbia, which uh, was voted for in May 1991 um, very strongly and Serbia was not having it. Um, it. had a high Croatian minority population in Serbia and they did not want the further breakup of what used to be Yugoslavia to happen. So the result was a civil war. That left Croatia sort of on the back foot, needing to uh, defend what it was trying to establish as its own country. Various small arms Facilities were inaccessible now, invaded, uh, taken, depending on your point of view. Um, and there was a, an arms embargo on all, all of the countries in the area, so there was no way to get new equipment, new firearms in this particular case. Um, there were old World War II, Second World War, fire, firearms knocking around, but not enough to equip. Um, the new Croatian army, as it was um, as it created itself. So, uh, some enterprising individuals and companies set to creating new weapons, and that resulted in several new submachine gun designs, the Agram being one of them. The Agram 2000, despite the name, was an improvement of the original Agram design that emerged in 1992, so quite a rapid pace of development. Um, they have to forgive my uh, pronunciation here, but this was the design work and the manufacturer work as well, his company, of uh, Mirko Vugrek. I hope I've got that right, in the north of Zagreb. Incidentally, Agram is German for Zagreb, so it's named after the capital city. And this was an improved model uh, produced with input from his son, uh, Ivan uh, Vugrek. Now, I think the key thing here is the barrel, because if I, you see the, the knurling on here, if I unscrew this bit, which is, this isn't normal, you don't generally unscrew um, part of your barrel, this is effectively a sleeve, you can then slip over, and there are little holes in here, I will try and show you, you will just see that the barrel is ported. 
trying to make sure I catch enough light. You just see that under that heat shield, there are holes drilled in the barrel. So if, I was, if you were to fire this without the sleeve on, gas propellant gases are quite quickly, because the chamber's only here, back here, bleeding out into, into the air. Not normally something you would want, but slip this over, screw it on, it's obviously a sound suppressor or silencer, and that has gone over those holes. This works much like the MP5 SD, Heckler & Koch MP5 SD, and a couple of other designs where those ports in the barrel allow more gas more quickly into the suppressor, which makes it much more effective. It's what's called an integral suppressor. Um, but not so integral that you can't unscrew it. That's not unheard of, but I have not seen another design with this alternative shroud. Normally you would only take the suppressor off an integrally suppressed firearm for cleaning. This system allows you to remove the suppressor, fit the shroud, and you've got a normal um, unsuppressed firearm. Why would you want to do that? Well, if your suppressor is non-functional, perhaps, and in particular, for even more compact overall length, because this is, as you can see, there's no buttstock, and I'm not aware of a buttstock being designed for this. This is very much a close quarters. More of a, it's a machine pistol. Um, typical definition of a submachine gun is it has a buttstock. This doesn't, this has a sling loop. So you would carry it on a sling. You could carry it in concealment quite, quite readily, even more so if the suppressor's not on there. So you can either be quiet, or you can be loud, but more concealable. So it's a really interesting and very impressive design for, for a small engineering company to have produced. So this, this played a part in the um, success for, for Croatia of the Civil War and what became an independent nation. Um, in 1995, uh, ongoing process from there of course, but the, but the Civil War was won in 1995. And um, Croatia joined the EU in 2013. Uh, so this, this firearm played its small role in that process. Uh, it, did not, it was not successful as a standard firearm for the new Croatian army post the conflict. But it did proliferate somewhat and ha has become something or did become something of a criminal firearm. It got illicitly exported to other countries shown up uh, with, with drug gangs, things like that. The uh, organised uh, crime boss, uh, Zlatko Bagaric, was killed by one of these in Zagreb, so a, a, an agram in Zagreb. Uh, he was killed by one of those in 1998. Um, and as I say, um, Croatia has, has gone on to be a successful independent country. Uh, Mirko uh, Vugrek, Passed away in 2006 at the age of 80, um, but he had left his mark on his nation's history. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you found that one interesting. Uh, it's always fascinating when world history and firearms history intersect in the way that they do with Croatia and the Agrum. Um, I hope we will see you again next time on our own channel. If you're interested in video gaming, um, or even just in more videos about firearms, go over to the GameSpot channel and catch our ongoing collaboration with them. We will have a couple of links in the description, um, ways in which you can help us carry on doing what we're doing here at the Royal Armouries, both online and in the real world, and we hope to be able to welcome you back to our museums soon. Thanks again, everyone. Goodbye.